Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. If you're doing a bit of videos for YouTube or other reasons and you're wondering about audio and have no clue which kind of microphone you should buy, this video is for you. We're going to compare two lavalier microphone, one condenser microphone and a dynamic microphone, which is the SM57. Stay tuned. You may wondering why using the microphone from your camera isn't a good idea. Well, the thing is, most of the time your camera is so far away from you that you will, you will pick up a lot of room noises and of course the tiny microphone itself isn't of the biggest quality. So one first alternative that's, that most people take is uh, a lavalier microphone because it, it can be closer to you and it can be clipped on your shirt uh, inside a dress and many many other places uh, one of those that we see most on video production is uh, a kit with a transmitter from Sonizer with a lavalier microphone like this and the the thing is even the lavalier uh, must be a bit far from your for, from your mouth so then the sound is not the ideal compared to a microphone like a condenser or a handheld microphone as well but we're going to compare them uh, side by side the thing with the Sennheiser microphone uh, with the wireless kit you need the transmitter and the receiver and of course the receiver needs to go to a recorder uh, one great alternative right now that just uh, recently been put on the market is uh, the Tascam DL, uh, DR10L which is a recorder with a lavalier microphone and you don't, uh, you don't need anything else. It's very tiny compared to uh, the Sennheiser and of course you don't have to buy a separate recorder as well. Um, so this is one alternative. Both microphones themselves uh, have the same clip, the same look, and uh, I've read somewhere that uh, the Tascam lavalier mic was designed uh, with the help of Sennheiser, and the quality is really uh, near from one another. Where the sound will change is how the transmitter will deal with the audio, and going on air uh, remotely to the receiver so that might change the sound a bit and of course the two other microphones are a microphone that I built myself uh, from a kit from uh, microphoneparts.com which is named the T12 um, design to remember the C12 from AKG a really old microphone uh, classic and the other one that I have here is the Shure SM57 which is a classic for live sound for recording guitar and some heavy heavy metal uh, vocals and the thing is with the, with the dynamic is that it rejects a lot of noise around me and of course if I go too far the sound will be thin it will be thin and of course uh, very light and then if I go uh, really close you'll get more bass and presence um, so let's try them all side by side I'll be repeating the same phrase four times and looping the audio so you can uh, hear each uh, of the microphone side by side so let's do like an intro Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. We're trying microphones and this is the SM57. Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. 
We're testing microphone, and this is the microphoneparts.com uh, kit T12. Hi, and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. This is the Tascam dr 10 l with the Lavalier microphone. Hi, and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. This is the Sennheiser ME2 with the transmitter and receiver. So, did you hear the difference? That's the first question. Um, of course, each recording, uh, are what you hear is raw files. The only thing that I modified was the volume to uh, so they can match. The worst thing you can do is compare audio with different volumes because the brain um, just figure that if it's louder, it's better. Uh, so it's not always the case. So matching the, the audio level is very important when you compare uh, audio tracks and audio gear. So uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Give me your ideas about which one you like better. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, click on like, uh, share this video and hit the bell to get notifications.